So it should have been the nicest day of the year, but ever since the rollers went up, everything went sideways. I didn't manage to film a lot of footage, but I have some photographs to explain what went wrong on the delivery of my uh, Sil X7. And luckily it's in one piece on my factory floor. So um, here's me uh, when the lorry arrived. So I was actually waiting at the roll doors for it to come up and the shipping company would put it on the floor uh, for me because from there we could handle it ourselves. Uh, but they wanted to do that via the tailgate of the lorry and that the, the lorry drive said that's definitely not going to happen. And then again, they also uh, put in a lot of other cargo, which was a bit of a problem for us because we couldn't roll it out. Um, so to understand what our problem really was, we have to go to this picture because this is the uh, the sail once it was unpacked on a shipping uh, pallet. What you can see is this is the long side, this is the shorter side. So ideally you want like have the forklift come in here and put then the the spoons I guess, I don't know what they're in English, but have those on the short side because then the mass is as close as possible to the front wheel as possible. But this was giving us a bit of a problem because they didn't do that. What you can see is, uh, if we go back to this picture, the shipping company, they probably had the lorry like this on a loading dock and they just slid the pallet in forward at first and then got back out. So what you can see here is on the pallet, you have like, these are the beams and they are in, well, that direction. But because everything was packed in the back of the lorry, we had to go and with the forklift and go in from here. And that gave a bit of a problem because uh, if I erase everything, you can see that there was actually no space at all to, uh, you know, get close to even put in your fork, uh, the forks from your lift. So that was a bit of a problem. And the other thing is, is that this is the long side of the crate. And so this would be the front side of the mill, which also then gives the problem that uh, there is more mass farther away from your center of rotation. Uh, so this made it really difficult for us to, to get it out of the lorry. We had a forklift that was capable of lifting the 2000 kilograms or 4000 pounds, uh, but it was really a stretch because it was far out on the arms. So um, what we did is eventually um, lift up this side a bit and put in a beam underneath. Then with the forklift lift it up a bit more and then put in another beam. And then we were uh, putting it on two beams and then we could try to lift it out of the lorry. We first had to get it as closely as possible to the edge without ramming uh, the lorry uh, because then it was closer to the center of the, of the center of mass from the, 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 the tipping point from the, the forklift. And then we tried to lift it and then this happened, which was a complete, complete, complete disaster. So I don't even know how to explain it. So this is quite high because this is the lorry. Here is the center of rotation. This is the arm and all the mass is out quite far. Um, and so the lorry started tipping over like that, which is not good because this is $25,000 worth of you know, machinery, my complete life savings for the past five years. And this is me trying to prevent as a counterbalance from the forklift from tipping over. I can tell you this was a completely, completely nerve wracking experience. I was shaking. It was, yeah, it was, it just wasn't fun. Um, but luckily we managed to put it down in one piece uh, and then we could um, do, uh, you know, 
have the uh, forklift lifted on the short side of the crate. And then it was in balance and we did um, uh, stand on the back of it just to be sure that it wouldn't tip over. But yeah, it wasn't really necessary at that point anymore. So here's us driving <laughs> the uh, milling machine back and then we're going to uncrate. Oh, my hands are shaking, it's terrible. Usually when you see videos like this, everything goes really smooth and everything comes perfectly out of the lorry and well, <laughs> that, that certainly didn't happen. We got it out, we didn't got it dinged. Uh, <coughs> speechless, it's absolutely horrible. The shipping company said they would provide lifts off from the lorry onto the ground. Well, they didn't do that. Yeah, well, I'll film this when I'm able to speak again. It was just like $25,000 hanging into a lorry uh, and a forklift and two men standing on the back to prevent tipping it over. It was, but it's here. <laughs> it's here. <laughs> the next part for us was uncrating the machine. It was really well packaged, uh, but with a crowbar we could remove all the wooden panels. This part was so much smoother because it was now on the ground. The machine was getting a lot lighter with everything we removed, like the water tanks or the coolant tanks. Um, the transport pallet as well had some accessories in the machine that we could remove. So we can now really easily lift it with a forklift, put it on some wooden beams and then pick it up again with uh, a pallet jack. So we could drive it through to my part of this building. Um, and this was really a smooth, quite a smooth experience, luckily. Later at night we would uh, install power and uh, get it uh, up and running, see if it actually works. So let's power it up for the first time. Give me a countdown. Three, two, one. It's doing something. making noise uh, controller is now getting power light everything's blinking oh sorry I had such a stressful day I'll tell you it's moving okay yeah it's moving over here as well system loading Whoa. <sighs> so the short summary is I ordered a three phase 380 volt machine, but I just was in contact and when you have an LNC controller, they want to add an Italian uh, server drive, and that means your machine is 230 volts. So we were with the one plug and we had to go over to the other plug. It was, it was a bit disappointing, but okay, it's due now, we need to do some more electrical stuff to make sure that we have enough power to run the machine, but it's doing something. Yeah, I've got only two amps now. Okay. I'm measuring with the... Yeah, I get a signal alarm that air pressure is low because we didn't connect the air pressure yet. You're fine. Yeah. Your angle is working as well. You see that? Yeah, <laughs> my light. Yeah. It's cool as shit. <laughs> you can see the light. It's, it's funny. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to just uh, leave it for this tonight, I suppose. But uh, hey, we finally got the SIL uh, X7. We've got it sort of functioning. We'll see what happens. But uh, wow, it's it's good feeling to have it running and all the lights on. <laughs>